Preliminary English Test Listening There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. What does mum say Helen's brother can eat? Hiya, Helen. Hope you had a good day at college. We're so busy today and I won't be home from work until late this evening. There's a pizza in the freezer that should be enough for you and your brother can have the pasta if he hasn't eaten already. Dad said he'll get himself fish and chips on the way home. Now listen again. Hiya, Helen. Hope you had a good day at college. We're so busy today and I won't be home from work until late this evening. There's a pizza in the freezer that should be enough for you and your brother can have the pasta if he hasn't eaten already. Dad said he'll get himself fish and chips on the way home. 2. What does the man complain about? I must say I really enjoyed that film. What about you? Yes, me too. I couldn't believe it was nearly three hours long. The time went so quickly, didn't it? It's the first time I've been to that cinema, and I didn't know you can order food on your phone and have it delivered to where you're sitting. Next time I go, I'll definitely get something. I just wish the people sitting in front hadn't spent the whole film talking. Now listen again. I must say, I really enjoyed that film. What about you? Yes, me too. I couldn't believe it was nearly three hours long. The time went so quickly, didn't it? It's the first time I've been to that cinema, and I didn't know you can order food on your phone and have it delivered to where you're sitting. Next time I go, I'll definitely get something. I just wish the people sitting in front hadn't spent the whole film talking. 3. At what time might the road be okay to use? And finally, let's turn to the traffic report for this Monday morning. I'm afraid it's not a good start to the week if you're driving into work. There has been a serious accident on the Warwick Road. It happened around six this morning. Thankfully, nobody was injured, but there are long traffic jams. Drivers are being warned to stay away from the area until at least ten when the road is expected to reopen. Keep listening and we'll update you at around 8.30 with our next traffic report. Now listen again. And finally, let's turn to the traffic report for this Monday morning. I'm afraid it's not a good start to the week if you're driving into work. There has been a serious accident on the Warwick Road. It happened around six this morning. Thankfully, nobody was injured, but there are long traffic jams. Drivers are being warned to stay away from the area until at least ten when the road is expected to reopen. Keep listening and we'll update you at around 8.30 with our next traffic report. 4. How much is a return flight to Paris at the moment? I have a question about your cheap flight to Paris. Yes, we have an offer this week. Is it just you flying, madam? It will be, yes, but I want to check the price first. It was advertised last week at £150 before the offer started, but I checked your website this morning and it's now listed at £180. 
Uh, sorry, that must be a mistake. Return flights are 120 pounds this week. I'll get someone to update the information online. Now listen again. I have a question about your cheap flight to Paris. Yes, we have an offer this week. Is it just you flying, madam? It will be, yes, but I want to check the price first. It was advertised last week at £150 before the offer started, but I checked your website this morning and it's now listed at £180. Uh, sorry, that must be a mistake. Return flights are £120 this week. I'll get someone to update the information online. 5. Which programme has been cancelled? Just a quick reminder to viewers of the change in tonight's TV schedule. With the whole nation excited about the cup final, football will be shown from 7.30 on Channel 1. Apologies to the gardeners out there, as this means Gardener's World will not be shown this week. For those of you who are not football fans, tune in to Channel 2 this evening for the latest in our police drama, Suspect, which follows the 7 o'clock news. Now listen again. Just a quick reminder to viewers of the change in tonight's TV schedule. With the whole nation excited about the cup final, football will be shown from 7.30 on Channel 1. Apologies to the gardeners out there, as this means Gardener's World will not be shown this week. For those of you who are not football fans, tune in to Channel 2 this evening for the latest in our police drama, Suspect, which follows the 7 o'clock news. 6. Which day has the most lectures? Have you seen the lecture timetable? The university emailed it to me this morning. Yes, it's not too bad, is it? No, there aren't any terrible days. Last week the secretary said Wednesday would be the busiest, but it looks like there's just one lecture in the morning. Yes, Thursday has the most, with one in the morning and another in the afternoon. I'm really not looking forward to Friday, though. Only one in the morning, I know, but it's an eight o'clock start. Now listen again. Have you seen the lecture timetable? The university emailed it to me this morning. Yes, it's not too bad, is it? No, there aren't any terrible days. Last week the secretary said Wednesday would be the busiest, but it looks like there's just one lecture in the morning. Yes, Thursday has the most, with one in the morning and another in the afternoon. I'm really not looking forward to Friday, though. Only one in the morning, I know, but it's an eight o'clock start. 7. Which item of food or drink is not available? Thank you for calling Yardley Over 50's community group. There is nobody available to take your call at the moment. If you are phoning about the menu this week, lunchtime sessions are still taking place as usual, though building work means we've had to change the menu. We're unable to serve hot meals until Friday. There will be sandwiches available, however, and free tea or coffee as usual. Now listen again. Thank you for calling Yardley Over 50's community group. There is nobody available to take your call at the moment. If you are phoning about the menu this week, lunchtime sessions are still taking place as usual, though building work means we've had to change the menu. We're unable to serve hot meals until Friday. There will be sandwiches available, however, and free tea or coffee as usual. That is the end of part one.